Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. RA5 with Charlie Marie. Um, what is or was your favorite Rhode Island's record store? So my favorite record store is In Your Ear Records. And it's in Warren. Okay. And it's right on that strip on the way to the Galactic Theater. So mm-hmm. like sometimes I'll go in there um, like before a show or whatnot. But like I just really enjoy that strip. Maybe mm-hmm. again, it's because I have such a connection with the Galactic Theater. But Warren is cool. Warren is weird. And mm-hmm. that's what I like so much about Warren. It's real. And mm-hmm. yeah, you get to meet some real Rhode Islanders. Yeah. Not no well, pretenders there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the home of Will Schaff. He's been there for like 20 years. That's like as real as you get. Um, but uh, uh, in your, I think actually just moved it. They're on, they're on Water Street now. So they got like oh, this boy. cool cool new spot yeah 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 um but yeah i love in your ear as well uh such a cool history in in rhode island music uh and it's great to see how it's you know staying true as it's as it's moved around you know so um that's cool what is your favorite drink tied to rhode island Uh, so this like i i don't have a favorite drink i like i like coffee milk i like dell's lemonade I like awful waffles. I yeah. can't pick one. I, I yeah. tried picking this. I'm like, no way. I'm not picking one. I got this. It's funny. One of my, it's so weird too. This guy, he's one of my managers at um, Amazon. And he randomly came up to me one day and he's like, oh, where are you from? I'm like, Rhode Island. He's like, really? With that accent? I'm like, yeah, this is a Rhode Island accent, buddy. I don't know where you've been. This is from Rhode Island. I was born and raised here. This is where it came from. Didn't make it up. Yeah. And I didn't say all that to him. This is what I'm thinking in my head. And he's like, yeah. oh, coffee milk. Do you like coffee milk? And I'm like, yeah. Like, what, what's your problem, buddy? You want to go at it right now? But anyway, now every time I see him, he either brings up coffee milk or I bring up coffee milk. Yeah. And it's just gotten to the point where I'm going to have to bring him some because the guy hasn't yeah. even tried it. It's oh, like really? you're talking about coffee milk and you haven't tried it. That's a sin. Yeah. So I personally think Wright's Farm Right, Dairy gonna, Farm makes the best coffee milk. I don't know if you've had that. Yeah, I was going to say that actually what came to mind of it's they, uh, you know, an easy way to transport it would just be like, go get some coffee milk from Wright's and yep. bring it to your manager. Do. But I'm yeah, bring a very yeah. small one. Yeah. But I guess he's worth it. Do him a well, favor. Try it. I mean, it seems that you can either love it or, or hate it, you know. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know how I feel about people who hate coffee milk. Well, just yeah, think, cut them, cut I them out I of your life, you know. Five second hug or something. Like, oh man, yeah. you don't like coffee milk? You yeah. need a hug. I'm sorry yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, coffee milk is cool. Yeah, I mean that's the other thing common from Rhode Island. Like, there's so many cool things. Hot weenies. Yep. Only is Onyville hot weenies? Is that what it's called? The place down in the, the Onyville yeah. weeners. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Onyville weeners. Great. Great hot weenies. Yeah, or like a New York system or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, New York system. That there we go. That's the place I was thinking uh, of. So cool. What is your favorite place in Rhode Island? I think my favorite place is East Matunic Beach. Really? Um, my that? family, yeah. My family has stories of like the good old days when they used to uh rent this little shack of a beach house every oh, summer. Nice. And it's like, oh, it sounds amazing. And it's like, damn, I wish I like was a part of that, but I wasn't born. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's like all these crazy stories. My family will always it like crazy stories always come from, from those times when they had this beach house. And so like growing up, my mom would take us to East Matunic. And like, if my um, relatives came and visit, like my, um, one of my aunts lives in Arizona mm-hmm. and she would come out and they would always rent a beach house, like in that area. So I spent oh, a lot nice. of time there as a child. And then like, now if I go to the beach, I like going to East Matunic cause there's waves and I like to boogie board. Oh, do you? Oh, that's cool. I started boogie boarding again because when I was a kid, I used to do it. And um, and then I stopped because I thought it wasn't cool. And I'm like, fuck this. I'm boogie boarding. I oh, want to yeah. get on that boogie board. And it's fun. It's, it's like so cool. It's like uh, easier than surfing. I've never tried it. <laughs> but yeah. again, I'm not very good at swimming. So I think boogie board boarding is where I got to be for a while yeah. until I can get better at that. So, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. 
Um, what is your favorite Rhode Island pizza? Okay, so my favorite Rhode Island pizza is uh, deep dish pizza by Cecilia's. Nice. And it is yeah. good. We talked about how much we like cheese. Yeah. Yes, this is good. They have a lot of cheese on their pizza. <laughs> it's like a solid, it, so. solid inch of cheese, it seems like. It seems like yep. it's, you know, like they just add sauce on this just to add color, basically. But it's a good, you know, block of cheese, So, which is how I prefer it. Yep. We know. Yeah. Blocks <laughs> of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, which was, you know, again, was born for the... Uh, uh, I don't know. It always comes up. It's hard for me to not talk about it, but like the bakery pizza. The, oh like yeah. Not, those are not having too. cheese on it was a, it, it took me a, a while to, to come around to it. Really? Um, yeah. Why was it something that you were just into? Like, yeah, uh, my family has been pushing, like has always had that. Like, as yeah, a thing, okay. like, because my, my dad um is from Johnston. So they're really into like Italian food. Cause I'm also with like, part Italian. Mm -hmm. So like, that was just something that we always, we would go to the bakery and we would have that. Plus like, I don't know. I got used to it, but yeah, I'm all about cheese. Yeah. So yeah. Cecilia's. Oh yeah. Um, and what is your favorite event that takes place in Rhode Island? It could be a music event or it could be just, you know, anything that, that kind of takes place here. So my favorite event is actually Autumn Fest. Uh, it was in one socket. Yeah. So like, I mean, it's different. Everything changes, but like, I don't know. Every time I think of Autumn Fest or hear the name Autumn Fest, it always reminds me of my childhood because I spent a lot of time um, like singing at Autumn Fest and just going to Autumn Fest. And it was such like this huge thing, especially when it was on TV and mm -hmm. like, you know, like Paul Jacob. Um, did all of that. And I, he's just always been a friend of like, again, Joe's and he was like, he's basically my friend and Lorraine is my friend. And yeah, it's just a really cool place. And like, even Jeff, like Jeff Gamash, you know, they're all cool yeah. dudes, dude, yeah. cool people. And it's just really cool to like be a part of that. And like, that was a part of my childhood. And yeah, like, again, they have the carnival and it was just this huge thing that was kind of in my backyard since again, like I grew up in Barreville. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't know. I like Autumn Fest. I, yeah, I, like I agree. <laughs> I like I the leaves. Paul. You know, we all. I, like I hang out with Paul a lot. Like basically, that. yeah, Paul's such a great guy. Um, and yeah, but yeah, with that event, it's cool. Uh, you know, talk like we talked earlier about some of the food. There's that that row of of food vendors and the yeah. carnival that's there, and uh, the little uh, outdoor like amphitheater for for the music that that goes on all day. It's uh it's a great event. Um, I don't even know how many years it's been going on. I mean, it's been going on for decades. I don't know. For, it's been going decades, on for so. a really, yeah, a really long yeah. time. But yeah, that's that's really cool. Um, and yeah, you're the first person to kind of to bring that up, even though it's it has it's been a, a you know big event, especially in in Blackstone Valley and in Northern Rhode Island. It, that brings a lot of people to it. Um, so yeah, well, at first, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first thought of that, I thought about the Newport folk festival but then it doesn't it's just like i don't know i think it's cool but i don't think it's as like authentic as autumn fest mm -hmm. like autumn fest is really again like it has a place in my yeah. heart so yeah yeah it is cool. homegrown from people that are ingrained in in one socket uh and and you know have like lived and and and, and breathe that that city you know uh like talking about paul and jeff like and and everyone else that's involved with it so yeah you can't fake that stuff obviously no um, and uh and it comes through and then yeah plus you can get a bunch of like food that tastes great and is horrible for you you know but uh it's really fun to eat on a on a nice yeah, uh, yeah, afternoon you know <laughs> once in a while that's yeah. why it only comes once a year autumn fest yeah. so you yeah. only gotta eat that fried yeah. food once a year yeah what can you fry fry sacrifice. anything and I, <laughs> i'll eat anything that's fried you know so um well uh charlie uh, thanks again uh this is uh super cool to to you know talk about rhode island and and uh you know share share some of these like uh, uh little pieces of uh of our state with, uh, with everyone and, and your experience with that so yeah it's been really cool talking to you and uh it's cool that you like know what i'm talking about because sometimes when i talk to people that aren't from around here they don't yeah they don't know because they just haven't yeah. been here you know but it's a cool place like yeah come visit rhode island it's it's a fun time 
And thanks again, James. I really appreciate it. And this has been like a really, really nice experience. So thank you. Thank you. I've tried so many things To find the one I've been missing When there's nowhere else to go There's always a bar down the road Shot Sweetheart tonight But was your son Lights up your eyes Says you could be Mr. Right And love could start With a shot in the dark I shouldn't let my heart flutter But you're not like the others It's in the way you use your hands Oh, you could hold me like a reed With a shot in the dark Would you settle down If I asked you Pull the trigger and Make this dream Come true Shot in the dark Makers one rock Call me sweetheart tonight But as you said Lights up your eyes Says you could be me With a shot in the dark Shot in the dark